Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here to start off our Florida vacation. We're sitting in the driveway right now, about to leave all of this awful, awful, icky snow. And it is 19 degrees right now where we are at. It is freezing cold. I'm so excited. Kaya, what do you think? Are you so excited? Where are we going? She was just screaming and freaking out. Tell the channel. Where are we going? Going to do Yeah, go see Grandma Pat and go to Florida. Yeah, and we're gonna go on the airplane. Okay, that's a secret. <gasps> There's a secret? Yeah. Oh my go, gosh. We're gonna go on the airplane and fly way up the sky. Yes, we are. Your first and we can airplane. See sparkles up the sky. <gasps> yeah, and we've got Elsa. She's all tucked in in the back. Riker is just chilling. He is sweeping. She's getting into the car and she goes, Elsa, the cold doesn't bother you, does it? <laughs> it was so cute. Anyways, Mike is just finishing like a couple of last minute things and locking up the house, getting the dogs let out. We have somebody staying at the house with the dogs while we are away, so. Who is it? Here we go. What are you thinking, channel? Okay, guys, so we got through security. Our flight starts boarding here in the next. And um, we have a bubblegum in the next five minutes. Hey, hey, I'm going to talk. Kiss up. I have bubblegum in my backpack and my mom gives, gave it to me. And I eat bubblegum and my dad just put it in my backpack because I don't want to eat no more bubblegum kids to just eat it. <laughs> so. We are, it's 7.15, Mike just, we're at Chili's right now in the Minneapolis airport, and Mike just ran to the bathroom to go change Riker into his pajamas. I'm having a beverage because through security, through security, um, all of our bags got manually like hand checked. So, anyways, and. I like and, it, this is my mom that's giving this one. Yeah. So anyways, it has, I'm serious, has just been a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Kai has been running all over the place. Um, we got to our gate, or our gate, we got to the baggage claim, and um, the and we airline- we need to go to Digimon. Yeah, the airline that we're with, they didn't open until two hours before the flight, and we got here three hours. Wait, wait, wait. We got here three hours before the flight, so we had to wait for an hour around the baggage claim with two kids that were very impatient and crabby. It was not enjoyable. And then we finally got through security after they checked, they hand checked every single bag that we had, all of our formula, everything. It was miserable. And we have like one, two, three bags. We had like 10 trays all together. It was rather ridiculous. But anyway, we made it through, we made it to Chili's. I'm having an adult beverage, like I said. I'm ordering my dinner, but now it's, um, our flight boards in three minutes and the gates close in about, let's see, a half hour. Our gate closes. Final boarding is at 7.49. So, anyway, I need to get Kaya into her jammies, wait for Mike to get back, wait for my food to get here and get the heck out of here all in the next 15 minutes. Wish us luck. Good morning, you guys. It is day number one in Florida. It has been quite the travel night. We traveled for 12 hours yesterday. We went through security, like I said in my last clip, and we had all of our, like, well, most of our bags um, hand checked, all of the formula. Riker was sitting there crying, like, wanted a bottle, and I couldn't because they were, like, dip testing the formula. It was awful. Hands down, the worst experience through TSA I've ever had. Usually I just pop up through and it's good. But, um, it's 11.30 in the morning. We finally just got going for the day. It's been kind of crazy. Like, I'm I'm just now seeing, like, what Florida looks like during the day because um, we got here super late last night. How is it doing? So we're on our way to see a security now because it is cloudy and 59 in Orlando right now. 
um, which is still better than 19 degrees back home in Minnesota, but um, we're on our way to the beach. We're gonna tire the kids out for the day, have some fun. <sighs> yes, and we're gonna try to relax and enjoy ourselves. We're all a little bit tired. I have a giant thing of Dunkin' Don'ts. Don't, don'ts. Dunkin' Don'ts. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. I got. Probably wake up a little bit. Drink some, <laughs> drink some of your Dunkin' Don'ts. <laughs> Dunkin' Don'ts. Having a little um, coffee this morning. I did get, um, I did ask for the sugar-free vanilla. I don't really know if they did it or not, but that's okay if they didn't because I'm on vacation. So anyway, I'm gonna have my coffee, and then we're gonna go to the beach, and we're gonna sit, and we're gonna hang out for a while. Day one of vacation, I feel like is always just like, you're just getting over like your travel and like our first time traveling with kids was a little chaotic and like, I just get high anxiety in those situations where like, like the fight itself was the kids were good. Like Kaya was, was antsy and overtired and like would not go to sleep. Oh, it is sugar free, that's good. Mm. That is really good. Anyway, and I got Dunkin' Donuts because we don't have that back home. We only have Starbucks, so. Anyway, um, I kayaked decently in the flight, but I was super overwhelmed, like, towards the end. Like, Riker would only sleep on me. He would not, he wouldn't go to Mike. Like, he did for a little bit, and then he would, like, want to snuggle me, and then he'd go back to Mike, and then he'd want to snuggle me. He did end up falling asleep, and he woke up a couple of times because, like, Every single time that the, the um, pilot or like flight attendant would come on the intercom, it would wake him up. And I just was like, shut up. <laughs> like every, There were so many sleeping babies on that flight. I'm assuming a lot of them were visiting family and like going to Disney and stuff. But there were a lot of babies and kids on that flight and every single time they come on the intercom, like Riker would wake up and the baby next to us would wake up. We made friends with the little family next to us on the plane. And anyways, it just was chaotic. But the good news is that we actually got to Orlando an hour ahead of schedule. It was really crazy. Like the winds, I guess, were on our side or something. But we got, it was like a two and a half hour flight only from Minneapolis, which I will take because at that point I was done. Like I was done with the flight. Riker kept waking up. We were descending. Kaya's ears were hurting. I'm sure Riker's ears were bugging him, but Riker was really a good boy. But anyways. Not the most enjoyable when you have two small children, but we survived it. Oh, the sun's poking through. What's up? I'm doing this hand. Yep, that's what you had to do to pop your ears, right? Yeah, because yeah. my ears still hurt. I, ha I have to do this still. Yep, you're okay. guys so it is a cloudy gloomy day but we're not gonna let that spoil our fun um, we are at Siesta Key Beach right now just kind of hanging out at the we're just gonna let the kids play in the sand and the water is still like super beautiful hopefully it warms up here clouds break up a little bit eventually but we're just gonna hang out here we might go down to Casper's and Beach later on today they've got like cool shark teeth and stuff like that that you can find on the beach out and Kaya is crazy and she's like just in a swimsuit See, Kaya's just in a swimsuit, playing in the sand over there. And Riker has no interest in the sand. He just wants to play the water bottle. Yeah. Do this. Say hi. Hi. He's been like a little bit boogery since we landed. And I don't know if it's like the pollen or he's just getting over his cold. But, um, and definitely is a little boogery. But he's just so sweet. Look at that sweet boy. Oh. I love him so much. There is nothing like, even though it's like only like 62 right now, there's just nothing like a little like ocean breeze and like just like breathing it all in. Being outside and these seagulls are getting like super 
her clothes. Hey, pal. Mama needs to take a shower tonight and I clearly need to relax. I'm not wearing any makeup today. I just like super chill, like no makeup, like post travel day, going to the beach, whatever. Um, so we just got back into Orlando um, from Siesta Key and we are swinging by Target. Um, I just wanted to like update you guys as I go and also like for my sakes when I'm editing so I can kind of keep on the same timeline because I did not bring my computer with me to like separate out the clips. I just brought um, a, I just brought like a couple of memory cards with me to like take as much footage as I possibly can and then go from there. Jeez, I'm like driving like a madman. Um, anyway, so I, just like for my sakes too, I just need to like separate out the footage and be like, okay, so that's what, that's what, and like the transitions too, it's easier for me to just like explain where we're going, but um, it's like 5.30 now. Um, I've been updating you guys in my Instagram stories so that you guys at least have some updates until I upload these vlogs. But anyway, it was um, just like a quick, quiet day at the beach. I think we're all pretty dead. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this. I know I mentioned it in my Instagram stories. P.S. like, how weird is it to like see palm trees so weird to me I don't know a lot of this like the landscaping reminds me of Minnesota like in the summertime and then it's just like the occasional palm tree it like it throws me off but anyway squirrel um yeah it's just been like a super like just calm day we're all really tired from the really long travel day yesterday because we had an all in all it was like 12 hour travel day 13 hour travel day and all reality I guess with, with like the drive time getting um, from the airport to the campground but Mike's Thanks. getting angry Thanks. in Orlando traffic it's not even like really bad traffic right now even though it is 5 LA 30. Is way worse. LA is way worse you guys so driving in Orlando is a breeze and driving in Florida in general because we've been like like to like through Tampa and like through Sarasota um, to like Siesta Key a breeze compared to LA um, anyway but it's been a really nice day I think this is exactly what we needed it was just like a calmer day I'm really really tired after I'm really really tired after that day yesterday so anywho alrighty now we're gonna go back to the campground and we are gonna have some drinks and have some dinner and hang out and put the kids to bed early because we're going to SeaWorld tomorrow and it's gonna be a long day and it's gonna be rainy so we're probably gonna be wet and tired by the end of the day but it'll be a lot of fun so anywho hard to like I don't know I just like don't even feel like we're in Florida it was such a quick travel day because it was only a two and a half hour flight so I'm like just palm trees and beautiful beautiful evening 